Hi everybody, welcome to you in Portrait Extension channel of Engineer Rafat Khatar. Today we are going to talk about an important bacterial disease of chickens, its infectious coryza disease of chickens, which cause great economic losses in broiler frogs and growing chicks, causing reduction in their weights and growth rate, and increasing culled chicks numbers. Also, it infects layers, causing reduction in egg production and increasing culled hens numbers. This video contains etiology, incubation period, transmission, clinical signs, gross lesions, prevention, and treatment methods. It's an acute respiratory disease, affects nasal passage in growing chicks and layers, causing great economic losses because of increasing number of cults and market reduction from 10 to 40 percent in egg production. Etiology The causative agent of this disease is a gram-negative bacteria called Haemophilus paragallinarum. This bacteria is killed at 27 degrees centigrade for one day, therefore it spreads in winter season. Incubation period It varies from 1 to 3 days. Transmission the disease spreads from bird to bird and flock to flock by contact and air contaminated with dry nasal discharge and via drinking water contaminated with nasal discharge of infected birds. Clinical signs The main signs are inflammation of eyes and nose, causing conjunctivitis and foul smelling make us nasal discharge, which mixed with house dust causing closing nasal holes, causing facial edema and swollen wattles. Feed and water consumption is decreased, leading to loss of weight in broilers and growing birds. Market reduction from 10 to 40 percent in egg production in layers. Gross lesions. There is no characterized gross lesions in the internal organs, but there is an acute cataract inflammation of mucous membrane of nasal passage and sinuses. Also, there is a cataract conjunctivitis and subcutaneous edema of face and wattles. Prevention In the epidemic regions, polis and replacement flocks must be vaccinated with the coryza vaccine subcutaneous injection at the age of 10 to 20 weeks, two times with three weeks intervals. Ventilation in the crowded houses must be good and the relative moisture in the open or closed houses must be suitable. Treatment For treating the affected pairs, we can use any method of the following. Sulfa-quinoxalene or sulfa by the rate of 1 gram per liter water, plus vitamin A3E by the rate of 3,000 to 5,000 units per bed for 3 to 5 days. But we must be careful because of bad effect of sulfa on kidney and egg production. Or streptomycin by the rate of 100 to 200 mg per chicken intramuscular injection. Or amoxicillin 20% or oxytetracycline 20% by the rate of 2 gram per liter water for 12 hours for 3 to 5 days. Plus potassium permanganate or any iodine compounds by the rate of 1 gram per 10 liter water for 12 hours. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like, and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I'll reply with a suitable answer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.